I wanted to record a quick video uh, tour of the Emotive headset uh, demo, just in case it doesn't come off right and the demo gods are not happy with me. The first thing we're looking at here on screen uh, is uh, the Emotive application, which I use to make sure that uh, all of the electrodes in the system uh, are uh, accurately uh, making contact. You can see that when I pull one off, it goes to black, and uh, then there's red and green, uh, uh, red, yellow, and green in between there. So when all the uh, headset electrodes are at uh, green, I know it's okay to uh, go into my application. What we're going to be looking at today uh, is uh, an application uh, called uh, a uh, P3 uh, Speller. Uh, and uh, so, uh, let's see, I'm just going to save the uh, model from the previous run of uh, model building. And I'll go into a quick training session to uh, show you uh, how the uh, training works. Uh, and uh, uh, that way I can uh, have um, you understand when I go into the test section uh, how that's behaving. So I'm loading the model that I uh, just built uh, into uh, the system, and I'm launching the application. These are all uh, extensions built on top of a package called BCI2000. Uh, now I'm going to make uh, this a very, very short training session, uh, just so that we don't uh, run the uh, demo out too long. So the way that I do this, I'm currently in a copy mode so that the system knows what it is that I'm trying to spell. And uh, let's just spell a short word, uh, Jack. I'll set the configuration up. And then you'll see uh, that there are uh, alternating uh, horizontal and vertical scan lines. And I'm going to focus my attention on uh, the uh, letters that I'm trying to spell at any particular time. Uh, and then that's going to allow the uh, system to train a linear classifier uh, to uh, determine whether uh, my, uh, my focus is at the uh, place for a P300. I'll, I'll show you the details of that in just a moment. So why don't you watch me for just a minute to do a training session. So we've got all of the uh, four letters in the uh, particular training session correct. Uh, what I do at that point is uh, quit back out of my uh, live time uh, program, uh, and I can go back in and uh, use uh, that additional bit of data to uh, create another uh, classifier uh, model, uh, so generating the feature waste from that. That's going to take a few minutes, so I'm not going to uh, bother doing that, but instead go directly into a uh, test uh, uh, version of this. So we'll launch it again. And instead of this time being in that uh, copy mode, the online copy mode, I'm instead going to, uh, you get, well, first of all, say, change the source, uh, the storage rather, so that I uh, don't overwrite some of my files. And then I will uh, change the uh, mode here to be an online free mode. So here it's going to let me spell whatever I want. And I'll set those configurations. Uh, and in this case, uh, let me uh, try spelling the word tornado.
And it hasn't made a mistake yet, so uh, let me kind of move my focus around on this last one. Uh, just to show that without the actual foci, uh, it's going to get a uh, different uh, letter here. Well, I'm a little bit worried that I uh, actually focused on O a bit before deciding to do that. Yeah, there we go. Great. So a tornado, uh, and I looked away for that uh, last letter. I'm going to go ahead and stop it at this point. And at this point, I'll uh, yeah, stop the demo as well. Uh, we'll look at more of the analysis steps uh, live, since that doesn't depend on uh, concentration in a live demo. Thanks.